Hello everybody! Today I have a tool I'm going to test out. It's from Orion Motor Tech, OMT. Had a little problem with the 2004 Silverado. It had leaked down a little bit on the refrigerant when we had some cold weather. So I was going to add to it. And of course when I put my gauges on and got it all adjusted like it needs to be by the pressures. I took the adapter off and of course the service port started leaking at that point. So I was like, Dad damn it, I don't want to get this evacuated and all. I just want to see if there's a way I can replace that valve without having to get that evacuated. So I found this. It's got the the adapters for the R134 and it's got these other adapters for the R1234YF refrigerant. Also comes with an assortment of O-rings and Schrader valves. So it's going to be a real world test. I've already done the repair. It went successful but it took me two or three attempts to get this old valve extracted. But once I did, it was very easy. And very easy, it was very easy to remove and replace the uh, defective Schrader valve. So uh, this has been probably a month ago I did this now. And everything's still holding up just fine. So we'll go to the footage of actually using this. Well, let's give this a test, this kit I got, and see how this works. We've got a replacement valve core. There's the tool. And I'll get it, get the camera set up here somewhere where we can take a look at this. All right, let's give it a try. Got nothing to lose. Let's try this. That seems to be locked in there. Now close the valve and see nope I just can't do it. It's still pressurized. Okay, it's engaged.
Now just I get it. There it is. It actually worked. And the kit came with the appropriate Schrader valve. And the new valve is installed. Wow, I am impressed. So now I have to go get my R134 and top this back off. Pretty good there. So I think we're, and when it was low, it would get cold and then it would get cool and then it would get cold again and then it would get cool. But today it was just cool because it had leaked even more out. So I think we're in uh, pretty good shape now. I'll keep my eye on it and uh, see how it goes. But that tool worked pretty well. I would recommend it. So now for the real test. When I was going to top off my charge the other day, when I took the gauge off, it was bubbling and shooting oil out of there. So I knew my valve was messed up at that point. So I put the cap on and it held until it didn't. So we'll see how this one does. I've got a brand new low pressure cap for it right there. And I guess we can take it for a drive around the block and see how it does. 36.1 at this point. So we're cooling pretty well. Turn it up one more fan speed. Still at 35 degrees, so that's good. So 
it seems like it's holding. Do one final update on this 2004 Chevy Silverado AC. Got up to 95 degrees today, so I had a good chance to test it out and make sure it's cooling properly. Well, I don't believe it's exactly this cold, but it's blowing out some pretty ice cold air. I just don't believe that's right, but... Two degrees? I don't think so. It's not that cold, but I'd say it's probably between 35 and 40. I don't know if my batteries are getting weak, but negative three, I don't think so. But it does feel nice and chilly. So once again, the Orion Motor Tech adapter for replacing a leaky Schrader valve without having to discharge the refrigerant system. Thank you for watching.